Um, then we look at drops and catches. So, for example, a cleaner will look at taking the athletes to this position and teaching them to drop and catch. Because that's the bit that people are going to find hard with. I know when you do some stuff, Josh, in the past. For you, it's very difficult. You, want, you tend to want to clean and sort of stiff leg out and not actually bend the leg at all. It's like really brutal. I can't even do that. It's like it's so painful. Um, <laughs> jump and shrug or pull from the hands. Then we'd, we'd be doing that stuff. We'd be doing the drops and the catches. We'd be doing stuff from here. Oh! Just what you cheat. That was my sister. So the jump and shrug pull from the hand. So we would, this hand position would be here in a clean. As we used to do a hand snatch, the hand position goes wider. All that happens is the bar comes a little bit higher. You'll see bars always higher in a snatch. So just look at the hand, the hand position. But we start here. We we'll do some of this out in a second, and we would literally just be jumping and shrugging, just getting that part of the movement. It teaches us to fully extend. I also do that if you want to do something for floor, we'll do a squat. Uh, when you cut, when your body lies back down, does that not put a little like pressure for it as well? Yeah. When you have to wait because everything's everything. Sure. Yeah. Down. It's good. Oh, is that good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem with that. Landing's good. Um, deadlift to the mid thigh. So we go from the floor and we will do exactly what she's doing in the picture. You'll see in the picture the key point is that her angle of her back doesn't change. In a normal deadlift, we tend to start off here and we start to bring her back up straight away. In a, in a deadlifting type manoeuvre, we don't do that. We keep the back, the back over so that when we're here, we give the hips somewhere to actually drive to. Um, then we do fours and threes. So we do a deadlift to the mid thigh, transition it into the jump and shrug um, before then eventually doing the fall in. We might do some hand versions as well from here into a clean catch as well um, and eventually a transition into the fall in. We're going to try and get this stuff up in the room. Um, some of these posters and pictures, so that when you're actually doing your lifts, you can refer to it. But it's just a nice general schematic of what's going on in the various lifts. Start position, feet shoulder width, chest night, chest proud, back straight and a nice natural arch. Head should be above your shoulders, shoulders above your hips, elbows rotated out. The key, the reason we turn our elbows out is because when we pull the bar, we don't want to start doing that with a clean we want the bar to come close to us and catch in here. Shoulders above or in front of the bar, so you don't want to be sitting off the bar. You see a lot of people when they're doing hang snatches and hang cleans, sort of sitting with the bar resting on their legs. We need to keep them in front of the bar at all points in the lift or just above it. Arms straight, they need to be. <laughs> so no, sorry, you know when you're talking about doing a hang clean yeah? Yeah. and a clean from the floor? Yeah. When you do a hand clean, do you lose anything from when you're doing it from the floor, or is it...? Yeah, there, there'll be an element of loss, because one of the key points in the lift, when you come from the floor, you get the bar to here, you tend to see, if you look back to this picture, for example, you can see here, you can't really see it where I'm here, but the, his knee angle is yeah. actually quite open there. The knee angle closes off here again, so he basically gets it to here, he then sort of re-bends the knees to allow the jump. Yeah. When you kind of stay here, it's a lot harder to get that natural movement of... You can teach it, mm -hmm. but it's, it's harder. That's what you tend to lose. So is the initial snatch movement from the glute and then moves into the hamstring? Or is it uh, from hamstring and, um, you're going to go from here, it's going to drop in, there's going to be an element of hamstring probably here. There's a re-twitching of the hamstring so there. So if you parallel, then that's the glute there. Yeah, if I'm, if I'm down here, yeah. that's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But at the beginning of the statue movement is... is it's going to be mainly hamstring. Yeah. Yeah. Um, second pull, so that's the point from the hang up into that full extension. You can see the pictures there that reflect that. <coughs> um, at or near to point of bar, contact with the thighs, you're jumping explosively. If you go up on the floor, you get to here, bar touches or almost touches, mm -hmm. we're going to jump explosively from there. Bar stays close to the body. One of the things you always see is people let the bar come out here, especially in the snatch. It'll get to here and they'll just throw the bar out in front of them. It's not what we're looking to do. It's a, it's a close bar position. Shrug the shoulders, keep the arms straight until the very last second, keeping the elbows turned out. And then the catch obviously is different in, in various lifts. You're basically ending up in a front squat or a, or a overhead squat position. So it's done. It's pretty much there. What is it? Did he jump on that? No. No, he won the gold. Beijing. Oh, Beijing. Oh, Beijing. Oh, Beijing. Oh, Beijing. Oh, Beijing. Oh, Beijing.
Yeah, yeah. yeah. So.